guys, I'm Young. In this spot, out in the ocean, I'm gonna test the battery time as well as the distance that Mavic Air can fly. Is what Mavic Air claimed to be, is it really true? Let's find out together. Let's fly. Okay, so right now I put a fresh new battery and it has 94%. Take off. The signal's very good. reaching 2.9 kilometers. Okay, I'm getting another remote controller signal weak sign or no signal. It says no signal lost at 2.926 kilometers. Go home. Okay, it came home at just past 2.9 kilometers. Battery level is low, the aircraft will go to the home point, go home. Okay, now it's returning home. I'm at 2.7 kilometers away. So let's see what the return home button can do. This beeping noise is actually... This beeping noise is actually giving me a bit of like heart attack. It keeps saying forward optical sensing is not functioning. But it is coming back, I can see it coming back. I, I just cancel. Oh, okay, I just... seconds left one minute and 40 seconds left and this beeping noise is really going giving me giving my heart sort of beating really fast critically low battery Landing. Oh, okay. 
Okay. So critically low battery. I've done it. Oh god, I'm not gonna do distance test for a while because it really gives me heart racing. Okay. So distance test and battery test done. I'm very happy with it. But it gives me my heart racing a little bit too fast. Okay, but in the exact same spot, I'm gonna try on this bar. Okay, anyway, let me fly this. And fly it as far as possible. And see what it can do. Let's fly. So now, suddenly 91% left and have 13.59 seconds. And already I'm seeing image transmission signal weak. Weird, but at five meters, no, at 70 meters distance, 80 meter distance. Okay, I'm just gonna, it says please just adjust antenna. I have adjusted antenna. It's telling me image transmission signal too weak at 110 meters. I'm so scared that it's gonna lose signal. I lost signal once at 160 meters, but still it's okay. Sort of lose the signal and gets back on again. I've flown 180 meters. Over 200 meters, it's fine. Okay, lost signal at 220 meters. But it's it got back on again. This is what makes Spark a great selfie drone, but not probably good for landscape. It gives me like almost a near heart attack. I'm still getting a very weak signal at 280 meters now. But also I can feel there's no signal. I'm just gonna reach 300 meters. Very weak signal. It's still connecting. But I think also the interference in the city is not helping at all. But basically this is what has been happening to me. Whenever I try to take video with Spark, it loses. The signal is very weak from about 100 meters onwards. So it doesn't give you, you, you can't really think about, you know, so you can't really think about, you know, what good video to take when you're worried that, you know, it's keep losing signal and I have potential to actually lose Spark. So in this test, I'm already so happy in this in this test. I'm already so happy that I got Mavic Air. So I'm coming back already. One of the reasons why I noticed that the battery is not a problem for Spark, the about 15 minute battery time is not a problem for Spark, is that it keeps on losing, you know, transmission. So you don't even need to fly that far. Then you're not gonna use up all the battery there is. But then flying drone in that way is not as exciting. I'm really feeling the difference. I mean, I, I love Spark and Spark is what got me into, Spark is what got me into flying drone. But I can really feel like the huge difference between Spark, Spark and Mavic Air. A huge, huge difference already. So like, Right now, I only flew all the way to 300 meters. The battery still has 10 minutes left. So, you know, you can always like perfect your image flying around like near you, near the home point. But there's no way you can get that awesome, amazing landscape shot when it gets cut off at like 300 meters. 